All right, what is up, you guys? As always, welcome back to, uh, I guess you could call it team review, really. A few guys actually wanted to see the team and even use it himself. And if you guys hear that, they add some motorcycle right outside my doorsteps. Thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, this is by Innocence Imagination, not the perfect team by far, and it cannot be used in 3 vs 3 Dynamax due to a few moves that are implemented with Heracross, actually. That said, this is a rough review and it's pretty darn straightforward. It's all about getting Beatic to work and Polyrath. And we have two safety nets in um, Heracross, which of course works in its own right. It's Moxie and it's Yali and can steamroll team if it is allowed. Um, and uh, Emolga, while being the fastest member of the team, is not necessarily all that speedy. What are free in speed, so there are a lot of matchups here that it will not be faster than. However, its combination of um, electric and flying is a good defensive typing, and it has been able to really, really pull a few good traits and feats off, and has a lot to do with people not necessarily knowing what it's all about. Pilipper is a standard Smogan Pilipper defensive variant with Hurricane Skull, U Turn and Roost. It's here to make sure that Beatty and Polarath can potentially come in safely. And uh, while it does have damage output, it is not here to, you know, do the damage. And also, there is no reason running Damp Rock because of the Dynamax meta. I kind of feel those five turns you potentially could get rain could be plenty. Uh, Beatic, um, it only suffers versus Toxic Pex as far as I'm aware. There are a few matchups where it absolutely struggles, but it always kind of came through, and I think it has a lot to do with people are really unaware of its damage output. 130 base power in, or base attack is actually quite high, and it does sting while it heads off. And of course, as a sword stance, you're guaranteed to kill Safin. And one could be running facade on this set, but quite frankly, I couldn't pull it off. Rolls are heavy duty boots because ice type. <laughs> then we have actually Glitter and Weezing. Now, this is a weird set for one big reason. I'm using a fire move in a team that has rain. The good reason is Weezing can out most of the time outlast any type of matchup versus a steel type. And even if rain is active, it is basically no burden for it. It has a defog for any type of stackers, as Will O Wisp, just to kind of be. Cheeky, strange team to be annoying and fire blast to take out steel types that could potentially wall it. Um, we don't suffer too much with the steel type due to both Polarize and Heracross representing, you know, close combat and whatnot, but it's uh, still an issue and I rather prefer that over poison move actually. Uh, and then we have Polarath, which has changed its move since the video. It has a lot to do with Toxipex. <laughs> <laughs> so close combat, Darkest Lariat, which is mainly here for psychic types or bolster carrying uh, liquidation, which could be changed for waterfall, but I prefer liquidation to the speed of drop and earthquake for toxic quite frankly. And um, overall, as I said, this team is not necessarily the best team out there, but I had fun, and I think that's a huge perk, and even more so now that RU is updated, then this team could almost, if it wasn't for Pelipper, could be used in RU. But quite frankly, this is one of the few teams I felt not only that I performed well with it, but people struggled versus it but, uh, because they don't know what to expect, and it only made this team that much more better. So if you want to try it, here is the team code, and uh, yeah, you know, feel free to use it. So with that said, as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day, everyone. Bye. All right, what is up, you guys? Of course, always welcome back from the OU battle with yours truly the Skyrender. And today we're going to get against Owen in an OU battle and um, we'll see what happens. I have a semi-rain team that I just really wanted to try out as my opponent pulls all the stops. Absolutely all of them. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so from the get-go, I mean, there is no surprise there, right? Galventura looks to be a very, very potent stop for me as a whole. But... Uh, Besides that, he doesn't do well versus... He actually doesn't do well at all versus uh, Beatic. So, um, I can't stop him from setting up... Uh, by the way, he has no grounded Pokemon, so I think Thunderbolt is quite free. But as... Oh, I'm all, well, bad, 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 I can speak! <laughs> Only one way of really properly stop... Um, 
um, his stick web and that is through uh, my wheezing and be able to kind of try to parry whatever he tries to set up but we need to deal with Galvinchula head on first um, and the positive part is that uh, Emolg actually kind of walls Galvinchula if he decides to have that as his lead he also lead off with Cinderace and if so then yeah that's fun starts up with Spider-Man that's the man I want actually um, so I don't believe we're necessarily faster, but we are able to um, circumvent um, a really interesting issue. Uh, since he decides to bring an Uber in uh, Moto Drive, bitch! Moto Drive! <laughs> yes. Uh, since he has an Uber, that means we can both Dynamax. Hell yes. Hell yes. Let's try one, another one of those. Oh, you! Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs>